guys, it's Maddie here with Maddie B Wellness and today we have an upper body workout in the chair. So all you need is either one dumbbell or you can just grab something around the house like a jar of peanut butter or a can of beans or something that is going to give you a little bit of resistance. So first we're going to start out with a warm up. Just taking a few deep breaths, we're going to go into a cat and cow. So as you inhale, I want you to arch the back and I'll show you. Arching the back, and then as you exhale, do the very opposite <clears throat> inhale. Just kind of warming up the spine, taking it nice and slow, focusing on the breath, big inhales and big exhales. We're going to get about two more in here. And last one. Take the arms up and then twist towards the right. Take the arms up twist towards the left. So from the side, I look like this. I twist up to the side, raise the arms up, twist. You want to create a spinal twist, especially in that lower back to relieve any tightness that you might have today. Just going from side to side here. And we'll get a few more before we move on. And last two, we'll get one more on each side. Twist and twist. One more exercise, scapula retractions. Take the arms out in front of you. As you bring your elbows back to touch, you're gonna squeeze that upper back, okay? So I'm squeezing, engaging the upper back, and then on my way forward, drop the shoulders, release those muscles we just engaged. So take it forward, squeeze, release. Notice how my shoulders drop down as I release forward just so we're not keeping any tension, especially around that shoulder neck area before we get into our workout. How are you guys feeling today? It's a little sweaty here in Texas, in Austin, Texas. It is, I think, low 90s. Make sure you guys are breathing, drop the shoulders on the way forward. We're gonna get about three more. And two, last one. Go ahead and pick up your dumbbell and take your feet out just a little bit further than they were. That way you can take the dumbbell or your preferred object right in the middle of your leg. So we're gonna start with bicep curls. So taking that dumbbell up to the collarbone area, making sure that the whole time we're doing these, the shoulders are rolled back and locked in. So try to engage the upper back, draw belly button into spine so we're sitting up nice and tall, and then try not to let those elbows rest on your sides. Breathe as you do these exercises. You want to exhale on the harder part, so that's going to be the curl up. Now, anytime throughout this class, if you guys are feeling a little bit of tightness in the lower back, just walk your feet in a little bit further and minimize the movement. The wider your legs are, the more you might feel it in the lower back, depending on who you are. So, just wanted to let you know that you do have options for that. Get a few more here. We're going to go three, last two. And one, moving into a Russian twist, so bring your feet into a normal position. We're gonna drop twist towards the right, curl to the collarbone, drop twist towards the left. Take it up, drop, take it up, drop. Just like so. From side to side, make sure you're breathing. Exhale as you twist. From the side, right here, I'm just twisting as much as I can while keeping that back nice and neutral, the shoulders stay down. Try not to let them get too tense by rising up towards your shoulders. Now, if you would like to make this exercise more difficult before we move on, you guys can scoot your booty to the edge of the seat, lean back, just like so. So now we're using a little bit more of the core. Options here, lots of options. We're gonna get about two more on each side. Breathe out, keep breathing out. Last two, and one. Going back to the bicep curls. Here we go, for 10. Curl it up, bring it down. Nine, we can do it, keep breathing. Seven, count with me. Six, and five. You've got four more. Three, two, Russian twist, same thing. Drop, twist it back up to that collarbone. Drop and twist. Make sure you're breathing out. Remember your option, you guys can, to make it a little bit tougher, go towards the edge of your seat, lean back a little bit. 
You've got two more on each side. Drop twist, drop twist, last two, and rest. Shake out those arms for just a second. Moving on to our last two exercises. We have a frontal raise. So you're gonna hold on to each side of the dumbbell here. Take the legs back out just a little bit because that dumbbell is gonna come back down in between. And you're gonna bring that dumbbell up and stop at shoulder height. Now this one's a little bit tricky, not in a way that it's hard to do, but it's hard to get those arms up there. I mean, let's be honest here. So if we're having issues, one, draw a belly button into spine. We wanna protect our lower back and work on our posture while we're doing this. And two, just raise your arms up as high as they'll go. So if we're coming here, instead of all the way up to shoulder height, that's perfectly fine. We do what we can, right? Make sure you're breathing out. Elbows are slightly bent on the way down. Make sure those shoulders are nice and relaxed. They tend to come up while we're doing the exercise, which is perfectly fine. Just make sure we are resetting, drawing those shoulders back, engaging the upper back. That way we've got a nice strong spine. We've got four more. In three, two, one. Take a bit of a break. You might notice your shoulders are starting to really feel this one. That's because we are focusing on shoulders today. So we have one more exercise we're gonna kick and get rid of, right? Let's get rid of this one. It's a shoulder press. So we're gonna take the dumbbell up and press it to where our elbows come about eye level. So I'm here, I'm pressing. It's not a full shoulder press. I want you to keep your elbows in and just bring those elbows up to shoulder, or to eye level, excuse me. Just pressing up, bring it down, press it up. Now I want you to take it a little bit faster. That's why we're not doing the movement full out. So it's kind of like a pulse. You're gonna pulse, bring it in. Pulse, bring it in. Pulse, bring it in. You've got four, three, two, one. Take a big deep breath, inhale through the nose. <sighs> Going back to that frontal raise one more time, we're gonna get 10 repetitions. Ready, set, go. Bring it up, lower down. Count with me for nine. And eight, roll those shoulders back. Seven, six, stay nice and strong. Five, you're almost there. Four, and three, woo, two, and one. Rest for just a second, take a big deep breath. Bring that dumbbell back up for those shoulder pumps. Ready, set, Go, we're going for 20. You can do it. Whew. Six, seven, eight. Now you've got nine, 10 left. Keep it going. Keep it strong. Whew. I've got seven, six, nice pumps. Four, three, two, and one. Ah. Feel free to do these set of exercises all over again, five, 10, 15 times, you know, whatever floats your boat. I'm just kidding, you don't have to. But let's go ahead and stretch real quick if that's where you end the class today. Take that left arm across, pull towards you with the right, and then draw that left shoulder away from the ear and then continue pulling towards your body. Take a nice big deep breath, you guys absolutely killed it with that little arm exercise, little exercise, I would say that was a pretty good one. Go ahead and switch, take that right arm over and across and then pull it in with the left, drive that right shoulder down away from the ear. Take another big deep breath. You guys absolutely rocked it. Make sure if you are interested in taking any other classes or doing any other exercises, you visit my channel. At Maddie B Wellness, I've got lower body, total body, standing, chair exercises, flexibility, all for you. Let me know what you think and a wonderful job today. Bye.